Hey guys, Mighty Scrapper here. So today's video, I'm going to be scrapping out that uh, TV monitor thing you saw me pick up. I'm not sure. It has a VGA port and a coax port, so I'm guessing it's a TV. But we're going to find out. I guess you could really use it as both. But we're going to find out today. So, um, I got all my necess necessary. God, that word's weird tools that you need of course you're going to need a screw gun you could do it by hand but you would be there forever so I'm hoping to get some uh, um, at least a mid grade board and the power board and uh Maybe a little bit of wire, maybe a chip or a VGA chip or something. It stinks really bad, like something sweet spilled on it, so I want, I want to avoid touching it as much as possible, especially that outside. Inside shouldn't be too bad, but the screen's all cracked up and destroyed, so... Normally, I would, you know, try to use it for myself or give it to a family member or something. Someone that needs it, but it's just too far gone for that. Get all the screws out so I know I got everything loose. I might not need this. This is a 6.5 millimeter. That's the size of them little uh, connector nuts. I might not need those. Get these screws off. I was watching the uh, E-Waste Mike's videos today. Just kind of catching up on his stuff. I watched the one where he was breaking down. I think it was a live stream, but I watched it as a video, but... Dang, that's even smaller. Well, oh, that's, they already took that out then. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? I hate when they don't come right out. What the heck am I missing? There that goes. Okay, so under here, let me see if I can turn this around for you or something. But under here, you're gonna have a. It's probably a low grade. Let me take these screws out and see. So this piece will just go into garbage, the landfill, because I can't recycle this here. But this will just be a low grade board. All that's on there is a little switch type thing and nothing else. So we'll put that there. Uh, what else? I'll take these screws out for this. Take the screen out. Just four screws. Remove the screen. Pop that little connector out. I'll just cut that little wire off right there. Same with that one. And we'll do this in a minute. But first, I want to get into this. This good stuff right here. Look at all that stuff. Man, I'm getting excited. 
Uh, so, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I guess we'll take off the power board first. It's just four screws, it looks like. Um, my scrapyard buys these as low grade boards, so I don't. They buy high grade boards at a dollar, so it's kind of worth it for me to take off, you know, like the aluminum and the copper and the brass and all that stuff. But let me cut these off. I can stop taking them off. Let me see. These are the annoying parts of doing TVs that clear plastic thing but there's your power board um gonna have your two on, you're gonna have two copper bearing motors one there and then one right there a little copper coil not a whole lot on there but i'll still take it off and aluminum heat sink that goes extruded and this might be steel no nope, it's aluminum so that goes extruded because of the perfect edge on there so and then a little IC chip I'll pop off um, there's MLCC's if you want to take them off or monolithic ceramic capacitors another copper coil right there just basic power board but I'll leave these transformers on because I'm only getting shred so I'll get more leaving them on so I'll put that in the pile to scrap down yeah, like I said, it's got a DVD drive. Cool. Uh, let me see. Is that aluminum? No, it's steel. Um, let me take off this little board here. Gold pin connector. Nope. It won't come off the board either, so I'll just leave it. Cut all these wires and move them aside. Okay. They're not in the way. There's the other screw. Four screws again. Now we have to wiggle it out. Well, the plastic flips out, and then you got the plastic, and then the circuit board. But I'm trying to. Oh, there's two screws. Two screws right here in the plastic. So be sure to remove those. I didn't see them. But right, basic little board, uh, you know, crystal oscillator, IC chips, good little IC, a little bit of EMG gold flashing, uh, some more IC chips, another copper coil, some extreme aluminum. I'm gonna try to pop that up, see if there's some chip chip underneath there. So yeah, just extreme aluminum. All you gotta do with these is if the legs come off, just peel them. And that's clean aluminum extrusion. Let me get a little paper towel here. Get this off to show you guys. So I think this is a surface mount VGA chip. I believe that's what it is. That was close. Um, I'll just throw that in my random bin 
and uh, I'll post on the form. I think it's a surface mount BGA chip. If that's the case, I just throw it in silicone chips or something, but there's that. Uh, got another surface mount BGA there. I guess that would act as your CPU. So a nice little board to populate there. So that goes plastic. Can't recycle it. Get this disk drive out. So this was this plastic stuff gets in my nerves. But once you get the hang of stripping TVs, it's really easy. Okay. So another low grade bore. It was on top of the uh, the uh, uh, DVD drive. Two IC chips. A little bit of MLCCs, uh, some capacitors, and they'll take this as a copper bearing motor at my scrap here, but I'm sure it's like an inductor or something. Um, these, I might start trimming off, I don't know, because they got silver in it. I'm not into big in silver, so I'll have to decide whether I want to get into that or not, but a little bored. piece okay let's see let's see get this whole drive out So this is a DVD ROM drive uh, board right here. They would take the set the board sort. Um, that would just go as low grade. I'll depopulate fully. Um, there's some motors and some little copper bits and aluminum and gold and all that fun stuff in there. But uh, I'll just take it one time at one spot at a time. That's that's fun to do. I might just save that just to play with it. But I'll depopulate that off the camera. It's quicker that way. Plus, uh, trolls won't be. Oh, you could have resold this. You could have resold that. I'm not here to resell stuff. I'm here to scrap it. And if that offends anybody, I'm sorry, but I'm going to scrap the way I want to scrap. e waste Mike scraps the way he wants to scrap. So, everybody scraps their own way. You can't control that. And y'all won't control that. I don't care if it brings down my views or subs or anything like that. I only care about my true supporters, not no trolls. So that's that's the way it's gonna be, and I'm sure E Waste Mike and uh, all them people think the same way. So uh, I'm gonna quit talking about that and just leave it at that, but. Got a little switch board here. A little bit of silver in them switches, but I might not pop that off. Um, the rest of this looks like it's going to be steel.
cut myself. Be careful and wear gloves. So there's a little bit of ribbon wire. They'll take this as 60 cents a pound. Number two insulated wire at 25 cents a pound. Some steel, some speakers. Um, somebody was saying there's copper in them speakers. So I'm going to bust one open just to see if there is. Uh, I think it was on Eway's Mike's live stream that it was. But I'm going to bust that open and see. Even this... Uh, this ribbon wire stuff, this plastic stuff, they'll take that at 60 cents a pound. And then there's some gold pin connectors right there. So I'll cut those off and put them in a bucket. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Lots of good value in uh, TVs, so don't just take it in as e-waste. Oh, wait. We had this to break down. I just remembered. So let's, let's keep trucking. If I can figure out how to take this apart. Okay. So, got to Maybe this will come apart somewhere. The light bulbs in this contain mercury. So, me and Ewey's mic don't recommend taking these apart unless you know what you're doing. I've been doing this stuff for a year and a half and I've kind of gotten used to it. I mean, I've broken down I forgot screws. I've done probably two hundred TVs and a couple I've never done a projection TV though. Um that's one thing I've never done. Also I've done um uh, probably Maybe 50 CRTs. I don't get them whole hot, but I still get them. If they work, I'll save them. Ain't no point in trashing them, but okay. So a lot of gold fa flashing. This is ENG gold. <coughs> a cheaper, thinner type of gold, but e waste Mike. He'll strip this board completely. And throw it in the acid. Um, I cut these off. And my scrap here takes these as gold fingers. If I just go right along the edge with a. What were they? Yeah, they so yeah I'll just take these. And I'll go along the edge. Like that. And those will go as fi gold fingers at my scrap here. I found them scissors in the garbage too. Where did I put my little prying screwdriver? Sorry, you can't really see. I don't want to pop this glass and break my phone or something. Something like that. So I'm trying to careful here. Always, always wear safety glasses with this. And gloves. Um, a lot of times these metal pieces will kick up in your face and it can turn out really bad or the glass breaks. And then you got glass in your face or, you know, so something really bad like that. So that metal ring just comes off. And then this glass, sheet of glass pops out. I'll take them little ribbon connectors off.
go down the line, taking this plastic off. Plastic that you have to get rid of, and I believe it's another. another, another sheet of steel, and then I believe I'm just, well, maybe it's not there. Yeah, here it is. So in there is that light bulb. Do not mess with that. Steel. So I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll just throw this in my shred pile. But don't mess with that, please. I don't need no one getting hurt. I'm doing this to show you how I do it. I'm not telling anybody how to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. So if you do it, it's at your risk, not mine. Just putting that out there. This I might use. That might work good for something. I believe it's like a glass. Maybe like an acrylic glass or something. Certainly don't feel like regular glass. But I'm going to clean all this up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Keep scrapping and have a good day.